Oh my god, I go on holiday in two weeks. I want to go on a low carb diet. Do you know what? I'm going to eat nothing but courgette noodles all week. Twitter says I should, so I'm going low carb. Urgh, what is it with everyone on low carb? Hi, I'm Jenny from Free Fitness. So the trend nowadays seems to be a low carb diet, but is this necessarily the way to go for optimal health? I'm going to explain all this to you now. Hey, point one, what are carbs? Carbs are a source of energy for the body. So carbohydrates include foods such as rice, potatoes, fruits, and pasta. When people cut carbs, they believe that in the hope of not ingesting any sugar, their body isn't going to have any sugar to be stored as body fat. However, then the body will start to burn fat as a source of energy. Okay, so this is technically true but carbohydrate diets long term may harm your metabolism. Okay, so point two. Low carb diets could harm your metabolism. So your metabolism is your body's internal furnace, which regulates food and turns it into energy. Three, energy production. So glycolysis. Uh, this is the process of breaking down glucose in order to make energy. Four, brain energy. Our brains demand around 20% of our resting metabolic rate. So personally myself, I'm currently starting to be a nutritional therapist. So I need a nice balanced diet in order to fuel my studying. Five, certain types of fiber feed the good bacteria in our guts, which leads to a healthy microbiome. A healthy microbiome is essential for the synthesis of vitamins, minerals, and certain neurotransmitters. Point six. So carbohydrate intake should be based on our training volume. So if you're working out a lot, you're going to the gym, you'll need those carbohydrates in order to fuel your workouts. If you don't fuel your workouts properly with enough carbohydrate intake, you'll start to break down muscles. And that is certainly not what you want. Point seven, we need carbohydrates in order to maintain blood glucose levels during exercise and also to restore muscle glycogen levels after exercise. Point eight, by going low carb, you'll be at risk of depleting your muscle glycogen levels. And this is certainly not what you want, as your glycogen levels are your body's preferred source of energy for the body. So if you want to perform well in workouts at the gym, have a good workout, you'll certainly need those carbohydrates to fuel your workouts. Lastly, I would like to stress to stick to low GI foods. These are recommended for sustained energy. So these foods include things such as sweet potato, brown rice, legumes, and oats. When going low carb, you'll need to replace your calories from proteins and fats. Otherwise, you may find yourself in a calorie deficit. I hope this video gave you some insights into why the low carbohydrate diet isn't necessarily suitable for everyone. So I recommend doing your research behind the diet and choosing what works best for you. If you're a carb lover, hit the subscribe button. If not, click it anyway it's free if you like this video give us a thumbs up and let us know how you're getting on and give us a comment below see you later